Hey guys, John here, your host on MGTOW is freedom. MGTOW is men going their own way. Um, it just seems like the right thing to do. It seems like the only thing to do. That uh, as a man, you just can't do anything else. There's no other move to make. You know, and that becomes more and more self-evident to me every single day. You know, I uh, I had my life experiences, and they're continuing. You know, life hasn't stopped for me. In fact, life is getting better for me. Um, when I started this channel, I wanted to share some information. I wanted to do a little ranting. I wanted to give men a little taste right, of what it's like to experience things through my eyes and with my mind. But there were some things I did not foresee. This computer right here is uh, set on the private messages section of MGTOW is Freedom. It is loaded with hundreds of stories from you guys. Hundreds. Every video I do ends up with hundreds of comments. Some of them are comments of support. Some of them are shared stories. Some of them are references. Um, and a lot of it is um, is inspiring to me because you guys are trying to encourage me to continue to do this. And a lot of you guys have gotten a hold of me um, uh, through email. You've you've found me uh, in certain kinds of ways, right? You've contacted me and, and we've exchanged emails. But you know, these stories, they don't just touch me a little bit. They touch me a lot. They mean a lot to me, and I can't. I haven't been able to read all of them. And that tears me up, man. You guys have taken the time to write your story down. And I do my very best to try and get out as many story videos. Right? Uh, every day, you know, I read more from you guys, as much as I can. And it's not enough time. I don't have enough time in a day. But it's, it's really impressed upon me how badly human beings treat each other. When a human being has a power, has power, has influence over another, they abuse them. And uh, men that have come to MGTOW, I see them as men who have had a, f a whole lot more abuse on them than they have given. And none of us are perfect. We've all hurt people in some way or another. I guarantee it. Whether you know it or not. And it's the ones that you don't know about that you've hurt, right? You had no idea you hurt them. It happens. But when we get to MGTOW, we talk about men who have been trashed far beyond right? anything they ever expected would happen. And certainly not for the effort, the time, the care the insistence on being a decent human being, the love they have for their fellow man and woman. And it has been just totally and absolutely destroyed. And the stories you guys have shared with me, they tear me up. You know, it inspires me and it also it wrecks my heart to see and to hear, right, and to live through your guys' words you know, what this means. It is not some ridiculous social movement. MGTOW is not a form of feminism. It is not going after women and demanding that they pay for our lives. It is not revenge on women, as far as I'm concerned. MGTOW is about protecting yourself. MGTOW is about helping other men 
realize the threat, the risk that they have when engaging in social relationships these days. It is not your dad's social life. It is not your granddad's 1950s leave it to beaver lifestyle. It was dangerous back then and it is more so now. But your stories, they're phenomenal and I want to thank you guys for them. I respond where I can and I try to do so in more than just a thank you type of fashion but sometimes that's all the time I have to give. I wish I had more time. But you know a lot of my videos I try and be as entertaining as I can in delivering the message. I try to do it colorfully. I see that as a challenge. Right? I want to be descriptive about it. I don't want to give you a 10 minute and 30 second video every day. Sometimes fuck, they go over 30 minutes or 40. Sometimes these videos are only 10 or 15 minutes. Right? It depends on how much time I have, how much energy I have. But again, it's the product that I'm delivering here, these videos. It comes as a result of what I feel I've done and dealt with in my life. But if you guys hadn't sent me these videos, I'm sorry, not videos, but comments, stories. If I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't believe it. Right? Because at first I thought there's just a few of us out here, just a few guys that see it my way. Maybe 10 or 20,000 of us. Turns out it's probably in the order of millions of men are thinking this way now. And I'm just touching, I'm just talking to a relatively small number of you guys. Right? And this desire of Nawaltz out there to get men back, there is no guarantee because the legal system is the legal system. You can't get away from it. It is so damn risky. You know, everything about women and relationships is risky. It's risky in business. It's risky to own property and have someone own property next to you and want to sue you and take stuff from you. But when it comes to marriage and women, it's a guaranteed check in their bank account if they can hook up with you long enough and hook you deep enough. But these stories I get, I want to say thank you to all you guys for sharing. You guys have been honest with me in a way that I can't express enough gratitude for. The stories I read, if a guy was to sit down with a scotch at a bar with his friends and tell these stories of terror and heartache, you'd probably be laughed at. Right? called names but I see in these stories men telling the tale and putting it out there because you guys want to help also you want other men to learn from your experience to learn from the horrors you have faced to see the love and time and energy put into relationships and then to see it all torn apart. You guys want the same things I want, in other words. And so these stories mean a lot to me. It means tons. I've got two sons. Two. And I want them to be as happy as possible. I want them to try and live their dream. And I know the risk and the threat that they face if their dream includes having one of these modern women, these feminists out here. Right? They're, they're probably going to find a girl that suits them, that's gonna, they're going to fall in love with. It's scary as hell. Right? It'd be the same as being in a wartime effort in our country, and then my sons wanting to join the military, right? join the Marine Corps, join the Army, and go to the front line. That's what relationships are to men now. It is life and death. And it has never been more evident to me until now. Now that I've started doing these videos and sharing my stories. And then reading your guys' stories. It is now fully evident to me. 
that in the realm of our personal lives, right, it is like a battle. It is a war. It is life and death for us. 